Folks, this was a, this was a bit of a banger. We got heated. We did our first ever tournament today. Egg preparations. There were eight different egg preparations. We did uh, four battles. Then four it went to brackets. Two ba- four brackets to two brackets to the finale. Yes, and it was very we very got fun. under each other's skin. We we also uh, talked about uh, why did we start tattoos and woodpeckers? Little tattoos, <laughs> little woodpeckers. Yeah, uh, it was a great day. Uh, I uh, I'm still. St- Oh, go ahead. No, no, I'm still, I'm still steaming from that. Yeah, well, what can you do? Listen, people, uh, we've got dates coming sit, sit up. up. Sit up, sit up. When you speak to the people, Jesus, you know give me a little respect. Out of to spite you, I won't do it. Like a razor said, people know that respect. I want to sit up right now. I would like to be sitting up, but despite him, I will not sit up. But in my heart, I'm sitting up. I'm standing up for all of you. That's great. Well, this is come down to Joey if Rose's. You're feeling, if you're feeling this tension, watch the episode. Come down to Joey Rose's on the Lower East Side of New York. We're open Tuesday through Sunday. Sunday, uh, go to joeyrosesnyc.com for dates. I mean, information about the restaurant. <laughs> and for my dates, joederosainfo.com. I'll be headlining uh, the Punchline in uh, July, and I've got other dates coming up in the in the following months. <laughs> Syracuse and Rochester. I will be there in June. Check that out. And as of last week, on sale right this second is Vegas, Phoenix, Boulder, Colorado, Portland, Seattle, and Vancouver. All on sale right now, guys. Uh, have not been through any of those places yet. SavileCanoComedy.com on sale right now. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Are we rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. Hey, folks. <laughs> Welcome to T-A-S-T-E, Buds. <laughs> Sal is back and yes. nervous because he's doesn't, he doesn't have an insult for the salty chant. Like last week, we are in a new location, temporaire, right? Yeah. Uh, it will be back. We'll be here a few weeks on on both pods. Uh, while I get some construction done, and uh, that's it. We're uh, you know this is the new thing. We got our sign here. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's comfy in here. It's comf. Yeah. You know. It's comfy Bear in with. here. We're doing also a first ever episode today. It's called the Egg Tournament. What we're gonna do is it's four with a lightning round episode. We usually do four, three. Sorry, three battles. With a tournament episode now, we're going to do four. Take the winners of... Wait a minute. Yeah. That's too many winners. No, the winners... You have four winners, and then there's two more battles, and then one battle. So these are like three minutes each. Oh, okay. You get it? It's just even even more lightning. Okay. So even more lightning. But but only one stands victorious. Yeah. So we don't... So we got a lot to cover here. So, Pimp, you're going to time each round as... Let's set it at four minutes, Right. Three, or do you think three? Do you think three is a little short? Maybe yeah, four. Four minutes. Okay, four. We'll think about it. We're doing four, five, six, seven total battles. If we do them cleanly at four, that's 28 minutes. about right. Yeah, and Pimp, you also need to get a pot and pan to bang us out of the <laughs> time to get salty. You should have saw Pimp's face just I'm now. Like, where are my well, pots First of all, it was Pimp's idea to begin with, and it was really, really funny. But then, I and I know we've just been trying to start for like 20 minutes, but I know Pimp likes the pot and pan, but when Joe just said that, Pimp was just like... <sighs> <laughs> Pimp is back there drinking what looks to be appears to be manure in a glass. What is that? Manure. 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 Yeah, you said manure. What is, manure. Yeah. <laughs> what is what is that, Pip? I ordered a smoothie. I don't know. It's a bunch of Oh, that sounds delicious, spinach. dude. Yeah. A smoothie? Needed one, needed one. That sounds delicious. I'm dying today. Oh, you know how you make those really good peanut butter, raspberry, banana, chocolate, cocoa smoothie things? I maybe God, maybe two good. maybe two couple arrive over here anytime today. <laughs> you can make it in between episodes. I can't have one of those. I'm on a diet. Oh really? No, no. This is all. all I already have my fruit for today, and now I'm having raisins on top of it. <laughs> I got my insult. You got your insult. Good. <laughs> I also can't have the chocolate. Why? Because I have an allergy. Uh, best friend that I've explained this to 87 times during the duration of our friendship. You could have yeah, cocoa. You, forget. you could have pure cacao powder. Cacao. Cacao. Yeah, I wouldn't waste my time. You're wrong. <laughs> You're closed-minded on the cacao. Uh, so we got a lot to cover today. Let's do a little talk about the bird, and then we're going to get into the chant and then the eggs. So the bird? Yeah, the, the, the animal that the, the egg comes from. The chicken. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going straight to the source? 
Yeah, I'm saying. You want to do a little up top about the bird? Well, you said you wanted to talk about beaks before like we started rolling. You said something about you want to talk about beaks. Beaks. You said that. Beaks? You literally said, I want to talk about, I, I, I would talk about beaks. And I said, yeah, well, we'll talk about like chicken egg related stuff. Where, 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 what are you talking about? You, I, know, th- those, I didn't say it. You those said Those words it. didn't come out of my mouth. You said you wanted to talk about beaks. You must have misheard me. What'd you say? I don't even know what it could be. Oh, the beacon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> we just played the beacon, and I'm like, yeah, we'll talk about the beaks. So, uh, now nah, I get what you're saying. All right. I thought you, you meant because we're talking. Yeah, we're talking about eggs. I wanted to spend some time <laughs> on chicken beaks before we started an we're egg talking tournament. About, I honestly did. We're talking about eggs. Well, you know what? You called it out. Let's do it. <laughs> what, what are beaks made of? These bony parts. Are they bones? Uh, I guess so. These sheath. These bony parts are covered with a sheath of a tough material called keratin, which I think, if I'm correct, p- women and, and, and men alike spend top dollar to get keratin treatments in their hair. Keratin treatments? I don't know if it's the same thing as what's in a beak, but it's the same, same stuff that makes up tortoise shells, the scales and claws of reptiles, and our own hair and oh, fingernails. Cacao. The keratin sheath makes the beak tough, durable, and shiny. Well, why do you... Oh, it makes... So I guess it makes hair shiny? Strong and shiny, babe. Oh, wow. The beak also contains numerous blood vessels and nerve endings, making it very sensitive to pain. They peck it into trees, for Christ's sake. Yeah. And bleeding if it is injured and it is connected to the skull. If it's that sensitive, what what happens... Wood, woodpeckers must have migraines on the reg. I guess that's what makes them so special. Pimp, uh, t- Google why don't woodpeckers feel pain in their beaks? Why does God hate woodpeckers also after that? <laughs> well, have you ever seen a woodpecker in the wild? Uh, yeah. You have? Rarely. <laughs> <laughs> They're a good watch. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, I've come across one oh, here or there. I know. Yeah, it just. Yeah, I guess I would assume it's rarely, but I love how you enforced it. Yeah, no, I've definitely. I know. <laughs> but where did you see it? Where are they native to? We can't see a woodpecker Man, here I on the streets, say, right? Not in East uh, up in up in East streets. We can't. I've had one in Queens. You saw a woodpecker in Queens? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I saw them when I was a kid. My cousin, my uncle, uh, and co- my uncle and aunt had a camper in a campground that we would go to okay, okay. during the summer. And I feel like I would see a woodpecker there every once in a okay, while. Okay. But I've never seen one like <laughs> here. I haven't, I haven't no, seen an, an urban, no, not an an urban pecker. There's actually wild parrots here too. Wild parrots? Yeah, it's pretty cool. What's a wild parrot? They're just native parrots hanging out. Native to New York? I guess so. They're wild. <laughs> we'll look at them after. Look at this. Say it, babe. Woodpeckers have a special bone that acts like a seatbelt for their skull. It's called the hyoid bone, and it wraps all the way around the woodpecker's skull. Every time the bird pecks, the hyoid acts like a seatbelt and and protects the bird's... The bird's skull. skull uh, it protects its brain and skull. Okay. But that doesn't... I, I, I don't still understand, understand how they the, feel the I don't pain. understand that. Woodpeckers hit their heads up to... 20 times a second? Yeah. My brain can't even compute that. But muscles, bones, and an extra eyelid protect their small bird brains. <laughs> Strong, <laughs> dense muscles in the bird's neck give it strength to repeatedly thump its head, but it is extra muscles in the skull that keep the bird from getting hurt. There you go. So, Pimp, can we, can, we, wa- can we see a video of a woodpecker in action? Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's get some woodpecker action. All right. Slow-mo? Is this slow-mo or fast-mo? Slow-mo. Slow-mo. Oh, this is wild. My whole entire life, I've never watched a woodpecker oh. in slow motion. Sounds like, it looks like it's painful. It's the first time for me in 40, in 40 something years I've Look never at seen that. It. Like, they go fully in and in slow motion. fully out, dude. Yo, wow. The, the beak actually penetrates the wood. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, the, but it, it, I mean, it went homes. in there like halfway the first strike. But what's interesting, they're saying 20 times in a second. It goes in and pulls all the way out again. It's not like it goes in and then stays in like a jackhammer. What, what is uh, his end game here, the woodpecker? He's not eating the wood? I think he's eating worms in there, right? I thought they make a home this way. Yeah, like That's he's, what it is. It's for I mean, worms? He's, he's, he's making a hole in the side of that tree. Is it to extract bugs and worms? Or is it like he's going to go in there and hang out? Yeah, for nesting... <laughs> 
and the marking of territory and, and for food, food all, of all of it. They're looking for insects. Wood if the birds are, are looking for insects, the holes will be smaller and irregular. Uh, woodpeckers are particularly fond of the larvae of carpenter bees, leafcutter bees, and grass bagworms, gross. none of which I've ever heard of. I've heard of a carpenter bee. But. Um, wow, that's wild. So wait, let's see a woodpecker in regular speed, though. I want to see how fast it looks. Right, here we go. It, this is hysterical. We're doing a tournament about eggs today. What, what, well, what, I, what, I have a question about, about that. Who are these two? These are two woodpeckers, I guess, that went in and got food. Do, are they all redheaded like that? Uh, I don't know. All, I think it's common. It's a sharp-looking bird. No, yeah, that guy's not. He's Woody Woodpecker is redheaded, so I right, feel like right. it's common enough that they made him redheaded. Do woodpeckers just fly like every other bird? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, but Woody doesn't fly. Uh, he's got. He's doing other things. Yeah, but they they never they never showed him fly. It's not really a show about that though. Yeah, but he I mean, runs fast. That's not twenty times a second. Come on. Bullshit twenty times a second. Put in like fastest woodpecker. <laughs> but seriously, you saw it. That was like that was like once every two seconds. Yeah, he was taking his time for sure on that one. All right. Let's here see some action here. This guy, ooh, this guy's a red mohawk. This guy is sleek. Or unless it's going so fast, you can't. No, we're watching it. No, he's just like, wow, they really, they do some damage. Is there a woodpecker attacking a human here? I want to see how uh, bloody that would be. You. Wonderful. <laughs> it's 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 had to have happened, right? It's got to, man. Oh my god! But for someone was, to catch it, here we go. I mean, it must just... Is it going to attack this child? Put a hole in you, dude. But that's not a woodpecker. No. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Yo! Oh, my God. It's straight up just, just dive bombing into this guy's head. Repeatedly. <laughs> but it didn't hurt him. He's wearing a wildlife conservation shirt as well. And now there's a woman... Is that a woodpecker, though? I it's mean, you deserve what you get at this point. He's holding the thing. It's a sleek-looking bird. What's a firebird? Is that a real it's thing? A car. Right, but is it from a bird? I don't think so. Is it? That's, that's a crazy way to feed oh anything. Oh, my God. Is that a snake? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. That snake Ugh. was in the tree. Ugh. Holy shit. The, Ugh, the woodpecker snakes. went back to fight the snake, and the snake just literally bit it. Oh, God. Is there anything more evil looking than that? No. Snake coming not. out of a tree. Pimp, can we eat woodpecker Ugh. eggs? Look at this. I have, look at this. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, I hate snakes. I know. I hate snakes, Chuck. Jock. It's not Chuck? It's Jock. It's Jock? Yeah. He doesn't say Chuck. No, Jock. I hate snakes, Jock. I hate him. Oh wow, that was Chuck. Uh, can you eat? <coughs> Comment among, uh, uh, but can we eat woodpecker eggs? Doesn't say. No, it doesn't say. Let's see. Would woodpeckers be anywhere without Woody at this point, though? Nowhere. They would be nowhere without him. No one would give a shit. It's a nasty bird that pecks things. Let me ask you a question. I bet it's a nasty bird. Well, you just see him, saw him attack a guy, yeah. an unarmed man. Yeah, yeah. You, let me ask you a question about uh, Woody. Is he an asshole? Yeah. He is, right? Yeah, he's kind of a pain in the ass. Who's his nemesis? I don't know. I don't remember ever being terribly fond of the show. Yeah, but he has to have a nemesis, no? Like, uh, otherwise, what was he doing the whole episode? <laughs> It was always about me versus you back He's then. He's an asshole like the way, like, I think the way, like, Daffy Duck is an asshole. You know what I mean? Like. Daffy Duck has an attitude problem. But Woody, I think, is more like, he's just an obnoxious. Well, I think he's kind of like Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny's kind of an asshole. So you're right. A lot of them are. You know? But I that's. Him. You know, Daffy Duck was my fave. 
And maybe that's why maybe that's why I like you. Yeah? How'd you know Daffy Duck was my fave? <laughs> I didn't. Oh. I said it was mine and you said it was yours. Are you here? No, no, no. You said that you know Daffy Duck was my fave, and maybe that's why I like you, as I was saying, me too. Oh, because I think you're the personification of Daffy Duck. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. It's time to get salty, it's time to get salty, it's time to get salty. Wait a <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, I never thought I'm of it until just now. That. I never thought of it until just now. I'll give All you a right. little story. <clears throat> when I was going to get my first ever tattoo at the age of eighteen, because that's uh, back then you, you, they didn't have them in New York. It was illegal. Didn't have tattoos. Yeah. No, no, no tattoo parlors mm-hmm. or shops in New York for only like the last fifteen plus years, right? Anyway, you had to be eighteen in Jersey and you had to prove it. My dad at the time was like just about turning fifty, just about. Yeah, ninety seven. Yeah, oh well, it was longer than I thought. But I do. So I was, I was turning eighteen, in uh, in ninety four. No, sorry. Yeah, ninety four. Yeah, and so three years before it was legal. So we went to Jersey, and I went to this place. I forget what it's called. It was right over the the Gothel's Bridge. It was it was like the only place people would go here. I go to get it, and I went in, and I looked at everything they had. You know, I should have known better. I should have thought of like something original I wanted to put on, but I didn't know any better. So I went in and I looked at all the, you know, like you're looking at posters and Spencers and stuff. And I'm looking at all the wall, the sheet on the walls and everything. And I'm like, yeah, nothing here is really jumping out to me. I don't know. And my dad was like, oh, you got to get something. Like it was like a special moment, bonding moment between right. us. He had just gotten a tattoo, his first. And so I was like, I guess so. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to get something I don't want. And then I swear I had I was completely stumped, and in the last couple of seconds I flipped through a book that had like cartoons in it, and there was a Daffy Duck, uh-huh. and I was just gonna get something on my ankle, and I go, I, I said to the guy, and by the way I don't know if you remember this, but back then, I don't know why it, it's not much like as much like this anymore, but at least here tattoo artists were complete assholes. Yeah, they were mean. They were arrogant. Yeah, they, they like, still can be. Yeah, it was like, but it was bad. Yeah. It was like they were almost like. Like, uh, you know, like, like not scary, but it was like they were just so, like, as for, for an 18 year old to go in like there. It was like going into a biker bar. Yeah, it was like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So I said, uh, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I'll, uh, all right, fine. I, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll get a Daffy Duck or whatever. And the guy was like, Psh. And I was like, well, he goes, yeah, you look like a cartooner when you came in here. And I was like, well, I'm just saying that. I didn't want to get Daffy, but you guys are all telling me I have to get something. So I was like, I was just trying to, like, get something. So I don't. Did you get it? No. So I, I was like, after that, I was like, fine. Do you have, like, a fucking skull killing a devil or something? Right, yeah. What do you want me to get? Right. Uh, and then he takes out a book, I swear to you, and he goes, what about this? This is something, like, newer. And I open it up, and it is um, tribal tattoos. Earth. They had not been around before that. And when I looked at it, I looked at it and I had not seen them. They weren't taken over by muscle guys yet and, and tan, spray tans and guidos. And like that. They weren't. It was just more like a, I don't know what. And it, it wasn't like tribal, like authentic tribal. You know, right. it was a design. And, and I was like, oh, I'd never seen that before, right? So I said, I'll take that. So in 1996, I got <laughs> this tattoo instead of Daffy Duck. God, around your... Ankle, around my like ankle. a trashy ant. I had like I was a grunge guy. I had long hair and everything. I just was like ah, around the ankle. It's terrible. It's a terrible tattoo. It's the worst tattoo I've I have. And why I would never ankle? I would never ever get it Why'd again. Why'd you do ankle? I, I didn't. I wasn't gonna get it around my arm. I thought that was stupid. But ankle is like that's up there with cleavage. Well, I I almost got it on my tits. <laughs> no, uh, right. I I was you know I'm very happy that I I'm right now I'm thrilled that I got well, it. Well, sure, there. yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? But I got it, and then um. Fast forward, I used to be a cash register guy at the deli, uh, not far from here, and I'm I'm at the del- deli, and a guy walks in. It's like three months later, and he goes, it's and and it's like a, a a guy, and he has it around his arm, and it's the exact one. And I looked at him, and I go, Oh my god! And he goes, What? I go, I have that tattoo. And he goes, No, you don't have this tattoo. And I go, No. I said, I have that exact tattoo. And he goes, That's impossible. I said, Why? He goes, Because I got it at this place, and I paid the guy extra money to make me a one of one uh. and i showed him my ankle and he turned like five shades of red and he goes that motherfucker wow. he goes wait like i'm he goes i'm going there right now wait till i get this guy wow. so the guy like was on you know, he wasn't genuine and he and he sold he sold that guy's one of one to me so i wow. know this wait the same per- place yes jesus the same artist what a piece of shit doug his name was 
Doug sucks. <laughs> now, how is it having OCD and tattoos? They don't bother you? <sighs> what do you mean? Like like the the design? I don't know. It would, it would bother me. To have tattoos tattoo bother me. Some of them do. Yeah. So if they fade or get compromised or anything like that. This one is another one. I got it on a road trip April 2003 in New Orleans with Q. We took a, a minivan down there. Five friends. We all got tattoos. This was mine. I got it at Electric Ladyland in uh, New Orleans in the quarter there. And uh, they put me with this kid and I asked for a cross right there and he did it. And I, I later came to find out he was like kind of new and they threw me to him. And this entire cross is completely lopsided and all fucked yeah, up. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. And uh, so this is 19 years later. I still think about this kid. His name was Bailey. You could get that easily altered though into something. I don't even want it anymore. Or well, removed then. Yeah. But. Yeah. But you know what I feel? I feel like I got it. And it's been part of me, and it's part of like what my decisions I made. So I just kind of leave it. Yeah. But it does. I don't like that one either. Yeah, I mean that's where I say you can get that altered into something. It's yeah. simple enough that it could become something else. Maybe I can get it like a little, like a like a little Joe DeRosa face. There you go. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. One of our fans got my face tattooed on him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Commitment. Yeah, I know. I've seen that. I tell them not to, but they do it. Yeah. I have two uh, Sailor Jerry like type hearts on my legs with my all my grandparents' initials on them. That's nice. I have this one, which is some lyrics for a friend, which I like, and then I have two two uh, very accurate portraits of Jaden Smith on both eyes. That's nice. Yeah. All right. We weren't going to get into. We went from woodpeckers to tattoos. Well, let's, we're supposed to be doing an egg tournament. Let's right go. Now. Ready? Yeah. yeah. You ready for the chant? Yeah. All right. Do you want to insult first? Or you want me to insult first? Whatever. You, I, Whatever you like. No, you can pick. I don't care. Pick. Go ahead. Be my guest. All right. Ready? Yeah. It's, it's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time, time to get salty. That entire story you told about your tattoos was the most boring <laughs> fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. I was sinking back into this couch. I swear to God, I was almost nodding off. I knew. You know, I saw that. I was just front I saw his to eyes back. were glazed. And then I started to fantasize as you were telling it. I'm serious. Yeah. What if we were just here regular hanging out and Sal was telling me this story? And I, the only reason I can fake interest right now, sort of, is because there's cameras Feigning on us. Feigning interest, yeah. I, I don't know how I would have sat through it if we were at a dinner well, party. I told it on a slow side. I am in a relaxed state and I am trying to just deliver everything I'm saying relaxed. I think you're. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that completely. Ready? But yeah. It's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. I think they should do a DNA test on you or even cut a leg out and look at the rings inside to see how old you actually are. <laughs> because I suspect you are a fucking 95 year old man. Why? Oh, you're allergic to cocoa. You got complaints about everything, <laughs> one after the other. You're very disagreeable. Yeah. You're very curmudgeonly. There's no way you ever think you're it's you? younger than me. Did you ever think it's you? There's no way. Did you ever think it's you? Nobody thinks it's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I swear to God, you should be in like bad grandpa too. They just throw a little white in your hair, and that's it. You're, You're there. done. You're, You're already done. There. It's over. Right, that's what just little... follow the rules. All right. All right, egg battles. Here we go. <laughs> Scramble versus Sunnyside. Which are you taking? Well, we didn't even. I know. I forgot. I'll tell you what. I want Sunnyside. Yeah, I want scrambled. Good. Ready? Good, yeah. Time to B A T T L E buds. All right, Pip. Start the clock. Sunny side up, kills scrambled a thousand times over. And I'm going to tell you why in one fell swoop. You get the egg part by cutting off the white part, and you get your salt and peppery egg part there, right? And that complements your savory part of the breakfast. And then you pop that yellow, and it runs on the plate, and you take that toast, and you dunk it, and you it's a whole experience, man. Scrambled can't hold a candle. <laughs> I knew the that the one place up. you were going to go to was just dunking the bread in the runniness. And I'll tell you something. The runniness sometimes works for me, but more times than not, it does not. It feels like a, an egg on the plate. It is disgusting. It's, it feels uh, phlegm-like. It, it, it has this consistency that... that Actually, it's very, very off-putting. And sometimes I'm in the process of dunking my bread, and in the middle of it, I'm like, just power through this because it feels like I'm eating egg phlegm. It's yes, awesome. It does. And by the way, I dunk more than the toast in it. I dunk the bacon in it. 
I, 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 it's no, the thing so is, good. No, the thing is, it looks so nice, but once you pop it and it runs, it very evenly coats the full surface of the plate, and it, it, it then ends up like you can't even get If you don't have bread, you're not eating that yolk. You can't get it up with a fork. You I like don't, drag it and it falls off, and it's well, just Well, I don't know what world everywhere. I don't know what world you would order sunny side up eggs without having toast available. If they said we don't have toast, I'd say, well, then forget it. It's it's very limiting. And, um, I, and you pop those yolks at the end. I eat around the yolks and make perfect circles of the yolks. Last Last thing I do, pop them, dunk, 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 and then eat the the egg from underneath. That's great, but it still feels like uh, a chicken did a snot rocket into your plate, and you're trying to, like, cover it with rye. Well, Well, what what I'm saying is another thing about Sunnyside is they lose the heat retention very quickly. A lot of times, if they they drop that plate down, scramble does not. Scramble does not. Scramble holds pockets of heat. If you hit a scramble three minutes into eating it, you'll see a burst of steam come out. There's nothing to me better than fluffy, buttery, beautiful scrambled eggs. I hate butter in a scrambled egg. I can't stand a butter flavor in a scrambled egg. I think it's gross. And I will tell you this. Scrambled eggs, when done properly with that little bit of runniness to them, are wonderful. Most of the time, they they are screwed up by the chef. Most of the time, they're dry. They've got crustiness to them because they were overcooked in the pan. It is very hard. I think to get they complement most egg. egg dishes the best. Basically, an omelet is is a, the cousin of the scrambled egg. If I'm getting an egg, a bacon egg and cheese sandwich, it's for me quintessentially. It's got to be scrambled. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I think come for on, me, dude, a running I, egg I think on me, a if you, sand- if you think if you say that, what is the quintessential egg breakfast? When you say eggs. Toast, bacon, breakfast meat. I'm thinking scrambled in that plate. I'm thinking sunny side up. And a sunny side up egg on a breakfast sandwich is unreal, dude. The runniness. Dude, you put a sunny side up egg on a burger. People do that all the time, dude. And the yolk running down that burger meat with the bacon and everything. Uh, dude, I'm, the sunny side up love egg. The, it, there's sushi dishes that I don't are made love with the, the sunny yolk. side it's, up it's, egg. It looks, like it, it looks like it was flash cooked it looks like it's almost going to be raw and then you and then you poke it it just just it just runs everywhere it just you know what? it's 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 even think of the description you know you are? runny it's runny you know what, what you else are? is runny a runny nose you know what you are you know you are you're a guy that likes like a well done steak you eat like a child you know you what? like a little baby Ex- child because you can't the handle thing- the sophistication of a runny egg except the only thing is i don't like my steaks like that but you know what i so, mean no but, but but you do but you just said i but did and do. i don't but, but you i don't do. but i don't Right, you know what I mean? You cannot go you're like, wrong. You're like the kid, like when, like when you were kids, you'd be like, "Mommy, I only want ketchup on my burger." Because you, you couldn't handle the toppings. You know what I mean? You have a limited power. Ah, you're off your rocker already. Listen to me. Scrambled is f- more fun to make. You whip it up. You pour it in. And then you're like... You're, 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 you're I the wish spatula, we had more time. It's fluffy. But that's time. All right. Well, I think you, <laughs> I think you went down in flames. Also, can I just say No, no you can't just say because that's not how a the lightning round works. combine the egg and the, wi- the yolk and the white to make I'm not something listening. better than the sum of their parts. I'm not listening. It's over. We uh, had time. All right. Follow the rules. I'm just saying. Yo- All right, Pip. Folks, we want to talk to you about pear eyewear. <laughs> pear okay. eyewear. Pear eyewear. Oh, wow. It's the pear eyewear. I wonder if they knew they were doing that. Uh, I, I'm a big believer in eyewear, not just because I need it, because I also find that it adds something to my personal je ne sais quoi. Persona. It helps me express myself. Your individuals. It lets people know my flavor. Maybe when I'm approaching from a distance. Maybe. You know? Maybe in an initial conversation. This used to work with my long hair. I, I like it. I think it looks now. nice. Yeah, I, I think it looks fashion forward. And I think that what pair eyewear is doing is fashion forward in the sense that they're letting you create eyewear that's perfect for you, perfect for your expression, perfect for your style. It's pretty cool. They've got base frames with magnetic top frames that combine... And then you can switch things up whenever you feel like you it. You change the look of your glasses like that. So cool. Base frame starting just at 60 bucks. That's including the lenses. That's another great thing they're doing. Affordable eyewear is crucial because it gets expensive. There are hundreds of top frame designs to match whichever base frames you want. This is a genius idea. It's great. This is like something I would have seen on Shark Tank. And I swear to God, why has no one done this up until now? I don't know. I mean, we keep buying different lenses to put in a pair of glasses attached to a lens, but yeah. you can't change the style. Yeah, I know. It oh. is It is brilliant. Pair eyewear. 
they've forged their own way and their designs and all their looks. It's all done in house, which is really cool. You're going to get high quality eyewear at the fraction of a price. I love what these guys are doing. Uh, every frame comes in six different colorways, including black all the way to blue tortoise. Uh, yeah, that's it. For every pair purchased, this is cool. For every pair purchased, pair eyewear provides glasses and vision care for children around the world. Very, very cool. So get glasses as unique as you are. One pair, infinite style, starting at just 60 bucks. Go to paireyewear.com slash taste buds for 15% off your first purchase. That's 15% off at paireyewear.com slash taste buds. You know what I like? I like coffee. You know when I like it? I'll tell you. All day, throughout the day. You could probably tell I drink a lot of it by my demeanor. But here's the thing. I like to switch it off, and I like switch it up. Woohoo! I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like coffee to fit my taste and my taste palate, and that's where trade coffee comes in. All right? There are basically curating the freshest and best tasting coffees from around the world. They by partner with the country's best crafted uh, exactly, roasters. Right? Exactly. It's really, really cool. It's, it's an oh, independent I said, business. I said from around the world accidentally, but I'll tell you what goes on in my mouth when I drink trade coffee, I feel that I'm on an international journey. Okay. Well, no, I'm what getting they flavors is, from all over is the place. They get them from independent businesses, from big cities and small towns, uh, from all around. Trade customers are truly impactful for the independent, uh, for these independent resellers. I like the Dune flavor myself. Uh, Trade's coffee team actually does taste testing for you. They're taste testing thousands of coffees to keep 450 kinds of coffee live and ready to ship every day. Trade is so confident also that they'll match you with the right flavor the first time because they do an algorithm yeah human powered algorithm babe to help you pinpoint what coffee you like That's i like right. that and yeah. they do a first match guarantee so yeah and by the way they'll take your feedback and an actual coffee expert will work with you to send you a brand new bag for free that's their guarantee and they're so confident scrimp uh scrimp i just called you scrimp <laughs> What they'll do is, is they will match you, if you're not happy, with an actual coffee expert who will work with you to send you a brand new bag for free. That's their guarantee. That's pretty cool. That's cool. So. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they've already delivered over 5 million bags of fresh coffee to more than 750,000 positive reviews. Um, you take this quiz, you answer a couple of questions, you get your own personalized variety of coffees delivered, coffee, coffee, coffee delivered, fresh to you as often as you like. There aren't any gimmicks. Right now, Trade is offering new subscribers a total of $30 off the first order plus free shipping. That's a great deal. All you got to do is go to drinktrade.com slash taste buds. That's drinktrade.com slash taste buds. And that's more than 40 cups of coffee for free with this deal. Get started by taking their quiz at drinktrade.com slash taste buds and let trade find a coffee that you're going to love. That's drinktrade.com slash taste buds for $30 off. This is the round. Next round is hard poached boiled versus, versus poached. Which do you want? I could go either way, but I think I will take hard boiled. Okay, I'll take poached for the same reasons I took sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> a poached egg is a wait, thing wait, of beauty. Wait, wait, it's hard to pull off. Wait till it starts. Hold on, sorry. Hold on, wait till it starts. Ready? All right, here we go. Go ahead. A poached egg, while I think they are a thing of beauty and they are hard to pull off, it takes a skilled person to make a proper poached egg. They're good, but the same thing ends up happening, though. You break it open, and it's just mucus shooting out and running toward the edges of the plate, and you got to sop up the mucus into your mouth. And it, just, it, just, it just coats everything. Some people put it on, like, a salad. You ever see that? Like, you yes. ever put an egg yolk in, like, arugula? Yes, it's a stuff? sophisticated no, egg. It feels like slime you have from it on the your salad right now? I have a hard-boiled egg over here. Hard, baby. It feels like, but, but it's it feels like Slimer ran through the arugula. <laughs> it's a and sophisticated egg. It's just good. His his Listen, goop, goop, you, you, goop, you, you, you make a decent you make a decent point with guck, the guck. I'm mixing goop you and make guck. the de you, you make a decent point with the sliminess of a runny yolk, but you can only make oh my it God. so many times. The other word is definitely definitely not a good word as far as if you're applying it to people's. Uh, he was worried about you. There. No, that's not where I was going with that. Let's you all, can only <laughs> let's all back off. You can only make this point so many times. Yes, there's a there's a sliminess, or there can be a sliminess to a runny yolk. Okay, you made your point, but but that doesn't matter. Anybody that likes a poached egg doesn't mind that. They enjoy the consistency of the yolk. I am one of those people. A poached egg is 
These are both hard dishes to make properly, but a poached egg is much harder to make than a hard-boiled egg. I'll tell you much what. Much harder. And again, you want to talk breakfast sandwiches. You want to talk accoutrement to a fancier salad. The poached egg, I mean, forget it, dude. This is yeah, this is game over I here. I like a poached egg better than a sunny-side-up egg, but I'll tell you what right now, it, for me, it does not beat a hard-boiled egg. I think a hard-boiled egg, I grew up on them, okay? I, I, I think they're absolutely delicious. I was in the airport two days ago, flying home for Vermont. I bought two of them. Look, I had a hard boiled I like egg cracking today. them. I like making them. I like cracking them and rolling them and then peeling. There is something so satisfying about rolling and cracking that shell and then peeling it off and the membrane it's on the uh, inside of the shell sticks together and it peels off and there's this beautiful, smooth I mean, you egg. want to talk And the whole, the whole thing gets undressed on one piece. First of all. It's almost like the, the, the top of the smooth peanut butter. The egg, it for, just peels off and the egg reveals its first of sexual all, body you want to you. talk <laughs> disgusting. You want to talk disgusting, shell membrane. There's no grosser word than membrane, first of all. That's true, and I knew and when I said it. shell membrane is disgusting. Nah, second, of all, second of all, that shell is peeling off one way and one way only with ease while you're running it underwater, okay? No, I put it in my hands and I go like this. It's still not coming off easily. <laughs> you you got to run that underwater when you peel it almost every time. With and a hard I, you just hit it with a little bit of salt and it's piping hot or That's not. That's the other thing. It or needs even salt. Not. How about this? You ever have a hard boiled egg without salt? It tastes like it tastes like egg cake if you don't put salt on that. It tastes like you're eating an eggy sponge. It's just thick it's still okay to me. and chewy and it's something you have with to work With salt and through. pep, it's gorgeous, babe. I like like biting it and saving no, it. No, I said with salt. I said, what about with, I said if you have to eat it without. What about Easter? The bunny knows what he's doing. The bunny knows what he's doing. I don't have hard-boiled eggs at Easter. I mean, it is it is the calling card of one of the most oh, major you holidays. Of dying the eggs, you mean? Yeah, but it, they, it's with hard-boiled eggs, and then you put them in a basket, and then over the next couple of days, you eat them. Yeah, dying the eggs is fine, I guess. You know, who cares? Yeah, but again, you talk like they don't, a child. They don't, they don't serve poached eggs on Easter. You, you talk like a child, though. This is a childish thing. This is back to my other point. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to color the eggs. I mean, what are you, three? <laughs> no, that's this not what I what, said. This is what, I didn't uh, say it was fun to the, color the, the eggs at all. I said... Even the Easter, the holiday of Easter utilizes a hard-boiled egg. It has, it has, it has, it serves functions. It's, okay, it's, it's, daily then, daily breakfast utilizes the poached. What's your point? Poach. How about the I word? I see poached eggs involved in breakfast far more than I do uh, scrambled eggs. You talk about egg. membrane I mean, being a bad egg. word. Poached is a bad word, too. No, poach, poach calls up all sorts of negative poach things to me. Poached is not a bad word. You're right, poaching that's animals, time. you're poaching lobsters. That's time. That's time. Do, now, do we see who's won these two battles? No. We can, but we have to decide who goes against who in the next one. So we should just run the four and then then make the bat new bat. We run three because we said we were going to leave Caviar Cadbury up to the fans strictly. Okay. So we have one more battle. Okay. All right, ready? Uh, wait, what is it? It is... Uh, oh, deviled versus... Deviled versus raw. raw. I'm taking deviled. I'll give you deviled. Right. I can't take raw after I just complained about well, the other ones. You're up shit's creek. Uh, I offered you egg salad, babe. You said no. You I, insisted. I didn't, I didn't think that deviled eggs should be part of this because they're not a natural preparation of just an egg. You're adding ingredients. None so of I this. didn't want to take egg salad because I thought egg salad was egg... egg. I got news for you, buddy. None of this is natural preparation egg salad, of an egg. egg salad. Every <laughs> part of this is not a natural... Raw is the only natural no, version no, babe, of the egg. Babe, I mean, without any other ingredients, babe. Okay? Salt and pepper and ingredients. You know what I mean, dude. But you know Devil what I eggs. mean. You're adding bacon. You're adding chives. Oh, you're adding bacon. mustard. You're Get adding, out of here, bacon. You're adding mayo. What are you talking about? You're adding ingredients to the egg, and that's why I didn't want to take egg salad, because it's the same thing. It's not true. And also, huh? I think, really, egg salad is very much like uh, deviled eggs just mashed up. Well, now you got raw eggs. You better start arguing it, because the clock is ticking. It's wrong to make me argue against something I clearly was against in the last two battles. But you agreed to it, so here right, we are. Well, you know what? Go ahead. You know what? You know why I'll accept raw? Because raw is raw. It's not putting on airs, okay? It knows what it is, and it's and you're drinking it for that reason. You either Rocky Balboa, or you're at the gym, or you're getting salmonella, whatever you whatever you're doing with it. <laughs> it's not trying to hide. It knows that you know that you're eating it raw. Okay, it's not trying to be like, well, you kind of cooked me, and then all of a sudden it just goes and it, it boards itself all over you. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's the health, like the, the most the purest and most protein-packed way to consume an egg, yeah. and, which is why the bodybuilders and the people that care about mass drink it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I've never... Have you ever had no raw, raw egg? You have. No way. What, in what context? I eat a raw egg. 
<laughs> like you were just home and like I'll swallow a raw I egg. I saw Rocky and I wanted to try it, so I tried it. So as a child. Yeah. And, and I did, think once I did it as a Yeah, no, as a child. Yeah, I tried. But what yeah, about you the never salmonella? Did it? What about the salmonella? I I I didn't do it now. I can't. Uh eggs don't carry salmonella. It's not like raw chicken. I don't know. Really? Well, I Is mean, there any danger to consuming raw eggs? Using pasteurized eggs lessens the possibility of <laughs> raw salmonella. Raw eggs may contain salmonella. <laughs> may, though. It's not like, like chicken. With chicken, it's like, yeah, yeah. you know. So, yeah, I should, hear you. Should the loser drink a raw egg? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, right. I don't know if I can do it. I would do it. I'm basically... You know I like if, a raw egg, too? Halloween. Just pelting somebody with a raw egg. All of a sudden, food becomes ammo. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? A raw egg is not just like, you know, eat me for bodybuilding or, you know, use me. It's like, take me. I'm part of the fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the egg really uh, dip, finds its way into different holidays yeah. now that I'm talking about it. I'm just letting you run out the clock. I mean, I'm. Because you got nothing to say. No, I got the winning. I got the winning team here. I don't need to work hard in this round. I'm just going to let deviled you talk eggs. yourself to you ever death. You a deviled egg that's been sitting egg. out for a while and it has that like coating that like that coating on top of it like it's been it's been out in the air for a while Dude, you look you can't even begin to talk down about a deviled egg deviled oh, eggs oh look at that oh spaghetti oh deviled yeah, eggs yeah that's disgusting deviled eggs are awesome there is nothing more exciting at a barbecue than a plate of deviled eggs oh, i get so I excited what's a deviled egg i never had one Oh, really? pimp. It's basically it's, a hard boiled egg. You take egg a hard boiled egg. You scoop egg. the yolk out and you add all different ingredients to it, like mustard, mayo, chives, bacon, bits, whatever you want to do. And there's tons of. And then you mix that up and then you put that back in to a, the, the half. And it is awesome. It's interesting because you trashed mayo and that texture in the last episode. Yeah. What did I do? You said you can't handle mayo. It makes you Ralph. No, no, no. I said mayo. <laughs> no, no, no. I said I like mayo, but certain types. Mayo in certain scenarios makes me grossed out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you also just said that you don't like hard boiled eggs, which is the the cornerstone. I like hard boiled eggs. I like hard boiled eggs. I just was saying I like to poach egg better. I love a deviled egg. It lights up Mm -hmm. a barbecue. It's delicious. (laughs) It's wonderful. And I love you. And that's time. I would I would (laughs) never pick up a deviled egg at a at a a barbecue and on on a table outside in the heat. Oh God, who put who brings deviled eggs to a barbecue? I don't know. Who keeps talking past the time limit? Sal Volcano. Who doesn't respect the rules of the show? Sal Volcano. Who spits in my face as his co-host? Sal Volcano. All right, let's see where you we're know, at. You know, these these tournaments can't be four minutes of me giving tons of great reasons, pro and con, about these eggs, and then you smirking, going, that's the pot and pan. That was the only one I did that on, because if, there's no way Raw is beating devil eggs. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I had the judge's decision, and I waited the clock out. All right, Pip, let's see who won each battle, so then we can take it to the next uh, round. Scrambled versus Sunny at 5,600 votes. We have a winner on Scramble. Woo! 62.5 to 37.5. It's a decent okay. W there. That's a decent W. Okay, so Sal, you have scrambled. And scrambled is now going to go against. No, it's got to go to uh, uh, poached, poached hard and hard boiled. boiled. Poached hard boiled has 4,200 votes. Hard boiled, Ooh, 61.7. About the same spread. Well, now here's a problem because you have scrapped. No, 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 no. We got to see who won the other two. Okay. And if you win those two, we can put them up against each other. Okay, I got it. Question, though. Where are you taking Cadbury caviar? Cadbury's going to crush caviar. Really? What side am I on? Yeah. I've never eaten caviar, and I don't really like Cadbury eggs, but I'm inclined to take Cadbury eggs. But bet on the pony. I'm going to bet on caviar. Really? I was going to bet on Cadbury. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to bet on Cadbury. Okay. That's my bet. Okay. See, this sucks because we both know Cadbury's going to win. And and take Cadbury, babe. Caviar okay. is all right. I'll take Cadbury. Caviar is uh, one of the finer things. All right. What do we got? Cadbury versus caviar. Did you guys even argue that yet? No. It's the, it's we're to saying the fans. that I think it's a great, great battle. I honestly don't know who would win that. It's either going to be a like ninety to ten Cadbury, or it's going to be very close. I don't know. I can't tell, but he didn't have either and doesn't like either, and so we like decided to let that one be the fans' call. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what they say. Cadbury versus Caviar. Drum rolls on all of these, babes. But this is not the final 
uh, humble pie. Forty two hundred votes. Cadbury caviar. Pimp's choosing caviar like a G. Come on. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Murder. 86.8, 13.1. Okay, so I got Cadbury right now. You have scrambled and hard boil. And then let's go to the last one, deviled versus raw. I mean, come on. It's got to be deviled, right? I think you should have it. I think you should have it. Uh, we have 4,200 votes. Deviled at 84%. Versus 16% roughly for Raw. Okay, so now we go to the brackets. Now I got to tweet these. Okay, so next brackets. So, so, Pimp, cut all this part out. Is coming. I just opened up my terrace, and I put in a new tank in the BBQ, and I am ready to start grilling or asking my lady to grill for me because I don't know how to do it. So you got some juice in the tank, you got some and you're cooking with gas. That's correct. And all this right. is where Butcher Box comes in, babes. Mm -hmm. We talk about it all the time. We love it. It's a meat delivery subscription service. <sighs> Cheaper than the store. I love it. I love the only I, the best meats and cuts. I say it every time. I love cancel the, any time. I love the steaks. I Ten, love the steaks. Fourteen pounds of meat right to your doorstep. <laughs> I love the steaks so much. Hundred percent grass fed beef for amazing prices. This is so hard to find in a supermarket. Seafood too. Without prices that are fluctuating greatly, or, or honestly ripping you off butcher box is giving you the right food for the right price and with the right service by making it convenient for you i love that it's all uh, uh vacuum packed and frozen so you free can range organic chicken wild salmon uh everything you you know and, and here's the other thing too with new subscribers right now we usually give a deal uh and this is a new one because of the spring you order now new subscribers get a, a free grilling bundle with their first order that's really great no antibiotics in this food no hormones added Packed fresh and ship frozen for convenience, as I said. By the way, I just want to put an emphasis on that. I love the frozen element. I know I always say that, but here's what I really mean by that. Sometimes I go to the grocery store and I fill the fridge, and I feel like it is a ticking time bomb. I am, tr I am, I'm overeating because yeah. things are going to start going bad. Right, right, right. Uh, I love that this meat is coming properly packaged and frozen, so I do not have to race to enjoy it. Uh, anyway, so you kick customize a box or yeah. choose from their selection. Okay, kick off grilling season right with Butcher Box. Sign up at butcherbox.com slash taste buds to receive a free grilling bundle on your first order. You'll get two 10 ounce ribeyes, five pounds of chicken drumsticks, and a pack of burgers for fra for free. That's, That's butcherbox.com slash taste buds. Go claim this deal. All right, babe. So here we go. Now we have the winners of the tournaments. And what we got we got now is deviled versus hard boiled, and we got Cadbury. Versus scramble. Right. So now I think the round should drop down to three minutes. Okay. Where final we round. Where we by pin? the way, final round? For like 40 minutes. Final round should just be two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because we've already made the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, let's go first. Cadbury versus scramble. Ready, pimp? You got the clock? Here we go. Come on, dude. Cadbury egg. Everybody loves a Cadbury egg. It's you, chocolate. You, you can't win alone just based on the fact that it is just an outlier as a goof. No one's going to put, like, if, you, if people are considering eggs seriously, they need the staple of the scrambled egg in their life. They're not going to go with a fair weather friend. You demanded, you demanded Cadbury be in this tournament today. Even with your fury about the deviled egg taking preparation of some kind because cadbury i think you is, demanded that this egg be involved as if this comes out of a natural chocolate chicken somewhere i thought it was funny to put against caviar for sure so, i could see the so fun here juxtaposition look at me cadbury cream eggs i never got into them why they're just not good you know they just feel like you're eating sh sh like straight sugar like it's like the yolk is just it, it just feels these eggs, too much. These, and then there's that weird yellow dye in the middle. It just doesn't feel right. Scrambled eggs scrambled eggs are for Willie Loman, okay? They're for, <laughs> they're for traveling salesmen. Scrambled eggs are for traveling salesmen so and strippers, like any, and strippers that just got off of work. Nah. Okay? That's you're what talking, scrambled eggs are for. You're talking Sunday morning breakfast with your kids. No. You're talking brunch. I'm talking, Get I'm talking, I just got into town. Uh, what the what's hell, open? Who, what's, a, who, what's a Cadbury egg for? Uh, a, a thief Cadbury, at CVS? Let me tell you how loved the Cadbury egg is. 
They used to have commercials announcing the return of the Cadbury yeah, they egg every year. It. They knew how to market it. Dude, it was by a, the way, it was Cadbury, an event. By the way, Cadbury, they reduced the eggs by half the size. Didn't tell anybody anything. What's wrong with that? What's eggs are bad for that? you. Eggs are bad for you. Oh, what a stupid argument. What's wrong with that? Hey, what about what, what, what cost versus value? I was paying the same price for double the Cadbury you egg. You couldn't handle a whole Cadbury egg. It was too big. I don't big. want to. I never got into it. As a child, I didn't even like Cadbury eggs. I think they're overrated. I think a very small section of the population actually likes them, but they're fervent, fer- fervent Babe, y- y- about it. You and I think that's what keeps the Cadbury egg afloat. People turn to this show for one thing. Fun. Look at that. It's escape. Gross. Happiness, joy. That's why people turn to the show. If you walk, I think they want to see. If you, you walked into an inflatable the of a human car accident, if you walked into an inflatable castle that was labeled Funplex, <laughs> and when you walked in, the host of the Funplex handed you a Cadbury egg, you'd say exactly. <laughs> if he handled you scrambled eggs, you'd throw them in his face and say, "What the hell kind of Funplex?" I is drop this? a plate of Cadbury eggs in front of you and a, and a beautiful piping hot. Fresh plate of scrambled eggs. You eating the plate of Cadbury eggs? Listen, it depends on what I'm in the mood for, but nobody's excited about scrambled eggs, is my point. Joe, People get excited about a Cadbury egg. Joe, on the basis alone that the Cadbury egg is a once-in-a-while low-end confectionery treat versus the literal Mount Rushmore of egg, scrambled egg, you think that Cadbury's going to beat... Sc- <laughs> you got the last word. Are you happy? Oh, you just Maybe did. Maybe you don't need to talk now for an extra 30 seconds. All right. Here we go. Hard boiled versus deviled. Woo! <laughs> Woo! And it's deviled. It takes the hard boiled and makes it better. What is what is even the argument? You can't here? have a deviled egg without a hard boiled egg. Who cares? You, you can't, can't. You can't without, have a plant with, without dirt. It doesn't mean I want to eat the with, dirt. Without a hard boiled without a hard boiled egg, you have a bowl full of mustard, mayo, and chives. That's what you have. You need me. You need me. What are you talking about? You need us. What are you talking about? You need a hard-boiled egg to make a deviled egg. What the frig are you talking about? You need a hard-boiled egg to make a deviled egg. You know what else? I need a chicken (laughs) to make you. (laughs) Okay? (laughs) What? (laughs) I don't understand it. The egg comes out of its... (laughs) Yeah, but what does that have to do with me? Does it? (laughs) (laughs) What? Does it? I'm saying everything needs another thing to get here. <laughs> yeah, but you uh, it doesn't need, mean the other thing need, is better. You don't need an egg, to, a chicken egg to make me. No, your your argument, the hard boiled egg, not uh, you. Okay, you said you. No, I know, but I meant like your thing. I'm saying like, <laughs> all right, we, we don't have time for this. Listen, th- my point is, is everything. Anything that's great comes from something that is less great. And that's what the deviled egg is. It is greatness made from less greatness. It's also cheating in this tournament. Oh, my it's God. Only, it, it's not cheating it's if the, only, the Cadbury egg counts. It's, only, it's just the only thing with extra ingredients. It's not just the, the egg in a preparation. The Cadbury egg literally has no part of an egg that in it. Is a, that, along with caviar, was the nod wild card. But card caviar is an egg. Right. Cat, I'm saying, but Cadbury, Cadbury doesn't even have some egg in it. That was the joke. It's a one-off. I love when it's his choice. That it's the that Cadbury it's, egg it's in this joke. situation. It's when it's my choice, it doesn't count. The Cadbury egg in this is, a, is, a, is the Joker. It's a wild card. It's oh, funny. Is it's it a, the shape of an egg. The Joker, he says. Of course, egg, that's the word that's he uses. It. But you're taking what? you're taking deviled eggs is different. You it doesn't just, matter. That's babe. like saying that's like saying deviled eggs should go against an omelet, though. You know, it's you're preparing the egg. Sure, it's not just the I gave you the option. You denied it. I, I honestly think that a, a it deviled, doesn't matter. Here we are. A deviled egg. Here we are. Something about dropping the deviled. If a deviled egg is sitting for more than five minutes, I end up recoiling at. Them. It's this simple. It's this simple. Platter of deviled eggs goes out at food gatherings, barbecues. Sometimes at a holiday meal, there's a there's a platter of deviled eggs. Easter, they come along with Easter dinner sometimes. Uh, Hard boiled eggs never. Never, ever, ever do you go to a food event like a barbecue at a friend's house and see a pallet of hard-boiled eggs. It never happens. <laughs> Why? Yeah, this place because it is a very <laughs> seldomly eaten form there's, of there's egg. There's a place you won't see deviled eggs, too. I'm not talking about where you'd find hard-boiled eggs. I'm just talking about which one is more palatable. And for me, it's Devil a hard-boiled egg. egg. Come on. I love the process of making them, I can eat deviled eggs like oysters. And eating them. Them down that's, I even chew that's how I can eat a hard-boiled egg. 
Oh, that's a, that, that, somebody who knows illustration, make <laughs> just make me a Joe DeRosa caricature with a heaping plate of hard boiled eggs, and he's just sucking them down <laughs> without chewing like a goddamn seagull. We're doing this very quickly, so there's only a couple thousand votes here, maybe, but... Uh, uh, devil versus hard-boiled. Devil versus hard-boiled. Come on, hard-boiled. I, oh! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Shit! Devil, 55 to 45, devil. Okay. Oh, Woo-hoo-hoo. man. Well, you might have a problem here. Can't yeah. bury my take scramble. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Wait, is 55 to 45 too close to call and f- with 1,700 votes? No. It's your show, guys. I don't know. Uh, no. It's all not right. We're letting, it it We're letting it ride. We're letting it ride. We're letting it ride. All right. Ready? Cadbury versus Scrambled. Uh-oh. Yes! All right. Yes! So so 58.6% to 41.4% Scrambled <laughs> takes Cadbury. Oh! And by the way, final round, the egg you didn't want in it went to the top, baby. <laughs> yeah. Deviled eggs went to the top. Because there's ingredients in them. Oh, it's my favorite preparation of the egg. You know you lose the scrambled, egg. right? We'll see. Yo, oh, baby, let me put it in. We'll see. Scrambled only did 58% over Cadbury, dude. That's not, that's not, you know, it should have smothered Cadbury. It's the staple egg, as you put it. Here we go. Final round, folks. Final battle. <laughs> we've got <laughs> we've got scrambled versus deviled. This is after a an eight egg preparation tourney our first ever yeah our first ever this is the exclamation point on the first egg ever. this is it this is this egg is taking and i want to point out again because i know i only said it a second ago but i'm gonna point it out again just to rub your nose in it what egg did you not want in this tourney deviled what egg went to the top <laughs> deviled yeah but you're saying it like again, you, you scramble you, you're telling you saying like you thwarted me the reason i didn't want deviled in is because i didn't think it was a fair comparison because it's a it's has other ingredients in it's it it's weird you haven't said that a thousand times but why are you the so episode? happy then that, the reason because deviled is people in, love the, the reason deviled deviled, egg. the reason deviled is in is the reason i thought it would be in and i didn't want it in the tournament but you're telling me like you got me I got you. You didn't. Yes, I did. I thought it would go far because it's not just, just a plain you're egg. You're just mad that your Cadbury's not in anymore. And that was the fake egg you picked. Cadbury was... I know. You already explained it. You already explained it. Don't explain it again. Yeah. Please. We've all heard enough. <laughs> I don't even understand. When I'm around you, I start... You, you make me feel like I'm going crazy, but I know for a fact that I'm not. You're the crazy one. I'll read the comments. Let's read the comments. I don't need to read comments. I know you don't. You shouldn't read them. <laughs> don't read them. For, for all that is holy, stay away from the comments, Joe. Don't read them because people see what I see. I'm telling you that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Pimp, two-minute clock, and this is it. One minute. This is it. Two-minute clock for the final battle. Ready? Deviled eggs went to the top. <laughs> they went to the top. You have nothing to say. In the original deviled eggs battle, you said jack shit. I talked for four minutes and you went deviled eggs. And I'm going to tell went, you. And then what happened in the say, next battle? As you city. say, as you say that my egg needs all these extra things, right? I want to point out that your your lead word, one of the lead words you used for scrambled was buttery. Buttery. You, that is an added ingredient. Take out there butter. you go. Okay, take out buttery. So now what do you have? You have... I have a beautifully light, fluffy scrambled egg. Light and fluffy if you add milk. Yeah. If you do not add milk, you are not getting a fluffy egg. Okay, Joe. Extra ingredient. Okay, yeah, but it's... No, oh, but it's my argument, so what, what you're saying doesn't matter. But count. you're adding mustard, huh? bacon, mayo, no, no, no. chives. Adding, nobody's adding bacon and chives. I don't know where you're getting that from. Okay, you're adding what? What are you adding? Mustard, mayo, paprika? sprinkling paprika on top. I'm done. I'm out the door. So you're even putting... Okay, yeah. You know what? Good. <laughs> don't let it hit you on the way out. Go, go. You, you, you have a deviled eggs in the finale of a tournament, and you have said nothing to defend them in the last hour. You it's just sweet. Ride Nick t- it's savory. Coattails. It's tangy. It slides oh, down. I hate the tanginess of a deviled egg. It slides down, okay? <laughs> it goes down easy. Doesn't give me a stomach it ache. It slides down. Doesn't give me a stomach Ooh, ache the way a scrambled egg. Scrambled eggs give me stomach aches. A they're deviled greasy. egg doesn't give you a stomach no, ache. A deviled egg not is, 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 is literally a diarrhea guarantee. Oh, stop it. <laughs> 
Scrambled eggs are so greasy, yep. I get a stomachache every You're time I eat them. You're sliding down deviled eggs in a hot we've outdoor barbecue. On, we've been on vacay together where I've had to pass up on the community breakfast in the house because I can't eat scrambled eggs because they give me such a bad stomachache. Because they're are you eating greasy. Deviled eggs? deviled eggs are not greasy. Scrambled eggs are not greasy? They're cooked in grease. I don't cook my scrambled eggs in grease. Dude, you're cooking them in oil. How are you laminating your pan? In oil. How are you laminating your pan? I'm not. You're out of your mind. Maybe a little butter, maybe a little Pam. B- butter, once again. A non-cooking, non-stick cooking spray? I don't like buttery eggs. All right, well, who's that's cooking, battle. Who's cooking this scrambled eggs Let's in grease? Let's see who takes the tourney. Let's see who takes the tourney. It's time. Yeah, you just, all you want to do is you want to look at statistics. You don't want to stay right here where the real battle is. <laughs> where we are. Your scrambled eggs are greasy. 4,200 votes. 4,200 votes. Oh, it's only been up a minute. No, but I'm saying that's good. 4,200 votes. All right. Whew. Here's where men are made. Ah! This is where you going? Oh, come where on. you going, pimp? I can't wait till the day. Oh! <laughs> Take your devil eggs and shove them up your hole. <laughs> Please. 70%, 70.3% to be exact for scrambled if you count at home. 29.7 for the devil. God damn it. For the devil himself. The the fact that you had the you had the stones, you had the eggs. To think that deviled egg was going to beat scrambled. Scrambled is the premier egg preparation. I took, I rode my egg to the top, and I didn't know where we were going to land. I could have been against Cadbury in this final round. I don't know. But I picked an egg I believed in, and I still believe Devil it. beat hard-boiled? Huh? Devil beat hard-boiled, and yeah. scrambled beat it by that much. Yeah, it beat, I, de- it beat hard-boiled. Wait, how did Cadbury get knocked out? Cadbury? What do you mean, how did it by get scrambled. knocked out? Scrambled knocked out Cadbury. No, no, it didn't. Yeah, it did. No, yeah, it did. oh yeah, it did. Okay, yeah, it did. Super oh, so, bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh. All right, just want to know: scrambled beat sunny side up, Cadbury and deviled. Scrambled is the king. Big surprise, okay. everybody! Sal picks the the public favorite. Uh, you told in the, me in you the hated battle. scrambled. Uh, big surprise, everybody! There Sal were, picks the front runner. There, Sal bet on the Yankees again, there were, and he won more money. You took sunny side up. And you uh, thought it was going to beat Scrambled. This is and there were eight this is, horses in this race. This is what you guys don't see off camera. You, you, you'll, be like, you'll be like, you like, Sal, what do you want to battle? You want to battle uh, You want to battle uh, Hitler versus Seinfeld? And he'll go, I got to, I love the battle, babe. They're powerhouses. I got to pick Seinfeld. Can you take Hitler? That's that's Sal at every battle. How untrue that is. That's, that's, that moments, that's Sal at every battle. Moments ago, you wanted to do oatmeal versus cold cereal. And I told you, Sal, I don't think you should do it, Joe, because cold cereal. This is my sound pressure. Moments ago, I in fact did the exact opposite of what you said I would be doing. This is my sound. Are you shushing? Is someone shushing? (laughs) This is my sound pressure. Babe, powerhouse battle. Hang gliding versus public shooter. I'm going to have to take hang gliding. Can you take public shooter? (laughs) That's a really funny little joke that you cobbled together, but I swear to God, little if joke. it's based in Here truth, the it's so bullshit. The thing that I do the most with you, the most, is because you go, I don't give a shit. I'll take. I'm like, Joe, do you want to do chicken noodle soup? You're like, let's do chicken noodle soup. It's the opposite. I got it's you riled up you say, now. You I got chicken. you riled go, up. Let's do, I got an idea. Let's do chicken noodle soup versus a pile of shit. And I go, Joe, I know you don't like chicken noodle soup, but it's going to beat a pile of shit. You shouldn't do that. I don't care. I'll take it. Yeah. You do it all the time. You do it all the time. How dare you look at me and, and not confess to them look that care. all you do is go, I don't care. I'll take it anyway. I am always banging the drum that it's not going to be a good battle. I don't want landslide well, battles. Guess what? You just wanted to put oatmeal guess against what? all cold cereals. Guess what? Guess what? I lost and I'm calm. I ruined your win. Look how you angry you are right now. Get out of here. You should <laughs> You should be more concerned about your losses. I tell you that much. It's because you haven't paid a consequence for losing season one. Babe, this why. is a win. This is a win. <laughs> I got you all worked up. <laughs> yeah, but you could have got me up if you just lie. Right, How about we do truth versus lies? Let's end it. You take lies let's and then tell it. me. Let's end it. Yeah. Right. Let's end it. Look I got new tour dates on sale him. right this second, okay? Look at him drinking out of a d- mason jar like he's one of the commoners. <laughs> <laughs> the front this oh, guy here we go again on. with this bullshit. <laughs> here we go again. 
All right, we're going to put plugs this, in the big... No, no, we're putting the bad plugs But in I want to do it real quick right now. This weekend, I'm going to be in San Diego and L.A. at the Wiltern on May 21st and 22nd. And right now, on sale, literally, as of this past Friday, right now on sale, is Las Vegas, Phoenix, Boulder, Colorado, Portland, Seattle, and Vancouver. They're on sale right now. This is, they just went on sale two days ago. This posted after the 21st and 22nd. No, this is coming out on the... On no, the 23rd. 23rd. Oh, shit. All right, thank you, L.A. and San Diego. <laughs> I still love you, babe. Oh, oh, because I, I don't have any plugs. <laughs> oh, only the big guy has plugs. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted to do plugs. You just said you don't want to do them. I want to we're, do mine. We're not supposed to. We're supposed to only do them at the top. I'm supposed to. All right. I'm sorry. All right. Talk to HR. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to do them now, too. Come to Joey Rose's. You know why you gonna, you know why you fall asleep when I was talking about tattoos? Because you're you're in bed. Let me do you're my, laying down. Can I do my plugs? So you we don't can have wrap enough. It up? You don't even have enough respect to sit up and do this. Can we do my plugs so I can wrap it up, please? Joey Rose's, come on down. Open Tuesday through Sunday, people. Uh, go to joeyrosesnyc.com for details. I will be at the. Thank you, Austin. I was just there. You were wonderful. <laughs> I will be at the Punchline in San Francisco in July. Uh, tickets, I believe, are available now. And I've got more dates posting for August, September, October, and November. Uh, and word on that is coming very soon. So we'll talk to you later. So love you, man. Love you, too. Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds. Man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds.